Hello everyone, this is Jacob Crow with NJ Tech Reviews, and today we have the video camera test of the AT&T Samsung Galaxy S4. Now this is Samsung's flagship device for the year, and uh, they're not calling it a phone so much as much as a life companion. And um, I would say we, we've overcast today in certain areas of the sky, as you can see, we, we had some rain before, and the 13 megapixel back camera is doing a pretty good job. Autofocus kicks in, so if we move it around a little bit, you can see autofocus kicks in right there, but if we go from the sky, and you can see kind of, at first the trees over there were a little out of focus, but if we scroll back down to the trees, they do come in focus and the camera is readjusting, which is nice to see. Um, the, the Galaxy S4 is currently available on AT&T, it's 199 with a two-year contract for the 16 gig variant, and 249.99 with a two-year contract for the 32 gig variant. This is available in either Black Mist, which is the AT&T version we're testing, or in White Frost. Now we also have the Sprint White Frost Galaxy S4 in the house as well, stay tuned for that for review and that camera test as well. Now. Uh, on the back of here, we are shooting with a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash that does record video in 1080p HD. Zooming in is simply done by pinching to zoom, and it actually pops up with where you want to focus. So if we move down a little bit, and we say we really want to focus in on this bus, we can get it to focus in like that. Very simply done. Now, this is hitting the market at the same time the LG Optimus G Pro did, and we also have that in-house right now, and you can currently see that video camera test as well. That also has a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash that records in 1080p. This is performing a little better in this low light condition, or when you look right up to the sky where the sun is, it's not as washed out and the colors look a little more vibrant. Now, I'm viewing this on the 5 inch Super AMOLED HD display that is on the Galaxy S4. Um, and it is running thanks to the built in quad core processor with 2 gigs of RAM. So, if we want to zoom into this flower right here, simply done and the quality is very nice on here uh, there's a lot of cool features on here you have dual recording um, so you can record with the front and the back capture life memories that they said at the big launch event at Radio City Music Hall for the next big thing which is the Galaxy S4 according to Samsung uh, this is running the latest version of Android um, Samsung Touch was as well and it has a couple of cool features uh, of course we'll dive into that in the full length on the full review on NJ Tech Reviews if you need any more information at all, please check out our full unboxing and hands-on first impressions all at njtechreviews.com and stay tuned for the full review. If you'd like to, you can follow NJ Tech Reviews on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, all on our simple-to-use account name, at NJ Tech Reviews. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to check NJ Tech Reviews for the full review of the AT&T Samsung Galaxy S4 very soon. Bye-bye.